Hi everyone, it's Lulu and today I'm here to show you how I did my small, long, individual crochet box braids. And I haven't done individuals in over a year, so I was a little bit rusty. I'm just like so out of practice. This is the packaging that the hair comes in. This is free tress, long, box braid, small, 24 inches, pre-looped hair. And each braid looks like this, and it has a loop right there. My sister actually braided my hair on the side, and then I just crocheted the rest of it. So let's get started. My sister actually did a scorpion braid on the side of my head. I wanted something super fancy, and I'm gonna be doing all this fancy stuff in the summer. But as you can see, you've got braids at the bottom that she braids going upward and braids at the top that she braids coming downward and joins them in the middle and that's all there is to a scorpion braid once you're done with the braids just go ahead and add some more hair and just braid one cornrow going back and it's really straightforward to do a braid like this i'm just handicapped when it comes to cornrows that's my problem but i'm learning and i am getting so much better you guys i'm so proud of myself but this is what it looks like the scorpion and now we're gonna do the individuals. Grab some Shine and Jam conditioning gel or some kind of beeswax. Wax, wax, wax matters, okay? It helps your grip gain. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it at the base and just work it in really well. And that's what it looks like. You really wanna smooth it with the wax or conditioning gel that you use. And the one that I'm using is not like a real gel, it's more like a pomade, so it's not going to be sticky or anything like that, but it really helps your grip gain. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put our latch hook through the loop of the braid all the way down and latch our hair at the roots, then pull through one time. And once you've pulled through, you're going to go back in the loop, under, and we're gonna latch our hair on again and we're gonna pull through. You can do this one more time if you want, but what I do next is I just go through the braid down the middle, just wrap the hair around the braid, go up through the braid, and I'm gonna show you guys a better way to do this. I'm gonna show you on a wig so that way you don't get confused. But you pull through and you wrap the hair around and you latch through the bottom and pull your hair through until all your hair is inside the braid. So this is what it's looking like. I don't really like this hair because it's not tight, it's very soft so it's easy to snag. That's upsetting to me but it's all I could find that was similar to what I was looking for. So this is what the hair looks like. Now we're going to do this on a wig. I'm using the Shine and Jam again. It's so much easier to do this on hair that's textured and not straight hair, trust me. Grab a little bit and apply it to your roots and there you can see it. Now, if you look at the braid, it's in an upside down V, the pattern, and that's where you stick your latch hook through. That's the side you stick it through. Then attach the latch hook to the base of your hair and pull through. Maintain that upside down V, okay? Always maintain that upside down V when you're starting. Then latch your hair again, put the latch hook through, attach your hair, and then pull through. And you can actually loop one more time if you want to. If it's a large section of hair, you can stop at one loop. If it's a small piece of hair, you can do two to make it more secure. That's up to you, but do not exceed two times latching through after the first time. So we're gonna do this one more time. And it's on the other side, okay? And this just allows you to have symmetry. So we're gonna flip the braid over now. Now we've got a real V. As you can see, the braids are going in a V. And pull the hair forward so it can sit on the V. But first, put the latch hook through the middle of the braid and then grab your piece of hair and latch it on and pull through. And what you're going to do next is again put your latch hook through the middle of the braid, bring your hair from the other side in that V-like motion, 
so that way it can go along with the braid. Put it in the hook of the latch hook and then pull through. And you're gonna do that alternating from side to side. And what this does is allows your hair to be secure so that way if the roots are not secure enough, the ends will secure it and also what you can do is add some shine and jam on your hair as you go to really smooth your hair and keep it in the braid we're gonna do this one more time just so you know I am not swindling you this is what I did on my entire head apply some of your jam pomade beeswax to your roots put your latch hook through your braid and make sure you're putting it through the side that has an inverted V and then latch it onto the roots and pull through. And again, using this wax or pomade is gonna make it so your grip game is stronger and you don't have to tug and pull to secure too much at the roots. It's gonna do all that work for you. Then you're gonna create a loop on either side by latching through the loop of the crochet braid and then pulling your hair through and then of course going back and doing that one more time. After that, go ahead and latch your hair going down the middle. And that is pretty much it for this video. This is what my hair was looking like when I was halfway done with the front. I will put my removal video really close to this video so that way you guys can see how to remove them. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you follow my Instagram, you've probably already seen some pictures. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, share. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!